All right, if you want to improve blood flow in your feet and your legs, we're gonna you, show you three options that is gonna make this very easy to do. No exercise, no medication. As a matter of fact, if you do not do a couple of these, your blood circulation will not get better. Very sure. simple. You're gonna find out in a couple seconds. 9.3 actually. Uh, yeah. Bob and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. All right, Bob, you, you know my mother, she's had uh, some issues with her leg I circulation. Do. As a matter of fact, I've been dealing with that at right now, so I thought I'm gonna make a video because I know there's other people that are having similar cir Very circulation common. problems. So yeah. the first thing that you have to address is the footwear. All right. You can do everything it's you want. It's crucial. Yep, if your footwear is not loose enough, particularly in the forefoot, you can do all the exercises you want and your circulation in your feet will not get better. Right. So let's uh, look at the biggest thing. And we searched for quite a while uh, with my mother to find footwear that had a wide enough toe box. Um, we're going to back, back up and I'll talk to a little bit about what I found with her. But in the average person... Uh, that's another one. Yep. You look at a walking shoe or a running shoe, but you know, typically it's going to be a walking shoe with this population. They come to a point... And that point jams the toes together, taking the circulation and limiting it. It just what do they think we're elves? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's like you know, it's a style, it's a fashion. Uh, right, thing, and it's that's uh, why they're fashion. doing it. You can get shoes now that are shaped like. Well, let's compare the these two. Shoe, right. Uh, is that pretty clear? That's how the feet are naturally. Right. That's the natural shape of the feet. Now, the cheapest way that you can uh, buy shoes shaped like this is simply get a pair of Crocs. They're loose fitting, make sure they're loose fitting. That's a Croc. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's not a Croc. They're actually, and I didn't realize how useful and how uh, healthy these are for your right. feet in regards to circulation. Plus, they don't have a lot of support, which can be, depending on your feet, some people might need support if their feet are really uh, in bad shape. But sure. for the average person, you want less support in the feet. They're finding out How now. much do they cost? Uh, these were twenty two ninety nine. I uh. bought them 18 years ago. <laughs> no, they, they are, I think they're around $50, $60. Oh, they are? Yeah, they're a little more expensive wow. than I thought. But the benefits you get, they last a long time. When they get dirty, you throw them right in the slap sink and scrub them down with a little spick and span. You know, they, they work well. Seriously, yeah, they're, they're a nice comfy. option. Right. Relatively cheap compared to the shoes I had to buy for my mom, which were extra wide. They were Velcro, and that we spent about $190. Wow. On but it was hard to get ones because she has edema and she has a lot of swelling. Sure. Uh, so you, get, you do what you have to do, and it's for your mom. Right. Uh, this is a, a shoe that I bought. I just want to show this a hiking shoe. So this Pretty is a, wide base, too. Yep, it's got the wide uh, toe box. So there's more manufacturers. I think Merrill, I heard, is going to start making a wide toe box, weird shape. Come on, like Merrill. Yeah. I have a feeling that um, this is one of those things that in another five years, yeah, it's, it's going to be, be cool standard, to wear this, right. you know. So anyways, let's go on to the next point. All right, the next thing you want to address, and this is very simple but very helpful, is simply elevate the feet. So if you're lying in bed, on the couch, on the floor, uh, just simply get some pillows out, put them underneath your legs. The, whole, the rule of thumb is so that your feet are higher than your heart. Uh, you know, just do it so it's comfortable. This is too, I could easily put another one under there. All right. Um, the next thing... If you do want to find something that's even more comfortable, is one of these leg wedges. Bob and I have used these for years with thousands of patients, I'd imagine. They work great. And I would say 95% of the people are very happy with it, and it's better than a than Also a good for back pain. Yep, they're good for back pain. Helps the, everyone says knees, hips, back. It's just a comfortable right. wedge. They're not real expensive. I think they're around $30. Oh, uh, feel great. Yeah. All right, let's go on. There's, uh, if you're sitting, this is a thing I have with my mother, is she has to get her recliner up. She doesn't like to. She just doesn't like it. But anyways, we're working with her. Otherwise, have an Autobahn. Get your feet up so that your feet are not dangling. Ottoman. Ottoman. The <laughs> Autobahn. That's the highway, isn't it, <laughs> in Europe? Yeah. Well, 
I'm draw a thousand. There. Yeah, I'm going there next year. So, you know. <laughs> uh, all right, so that's really important. Take the time, get the pillows, get your auto min. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't want. <laughs> And uh, we got one more important thing to go through. <laughs> <laughs> the last thing, which is very easy to do as well, is get yourself a pair of compressive uh, socks. They're, they should be uh, what's a, uh, graduated. In other words, they're tighter around the foot, and as it goes up towards the calf, there's not as much compression. Typically, if you look at how they're rated, it should be 15 to 20 millimeters of mercury. The more tight ones are closer to 30 millimeters of mercury or right at that point. You uh, can ask your doctor. Yeah, talk you to your doctor or your therapist that's familiar with uh, compressive garments. They <laughs> will know. Uh, if you... Don't, you know, if you don't want to go to a doctor because you don't have a serious problem, just get the lighter ones. You're, right. you're safe with that. Uh, these are I Relieve. We like their product, but there's a lot of different products that are, sure. that are good. I have a pair on right here. One thing you have to avoid at all costs, like these are a little long for me because I can pull them up past my knee, and that's no good. I wore these on a plane to Alaska over the summer, and I left them there, and what happened was they rolled down, and we call it a tourniquet syndrome. And so what happens is it gets really tight right around that roll, and it was very uncomfortable, and it actually cuts off the circulation, right. particularly with the lymph, but also with the, the blood flow. So if, if you have socks and they're too long, make sure you double them up and spread that out. Uh, you probably cannot see this because it's black on black, but there you can see. I got about three or four inches there. That, that'll be okay. The best thing is to get the right length right off the bat so they come below the knee, below the knee, the crux of the knee. Or right way there. above the knee. Yeah, or way up so they don't roll down. Right. Right. Uh, if you, uh, like with my mother, and for some people, these are hard to get on. My mother Very hard is to not going to put these on. No. I, even like five years ago, I said, can you try these on? And <laughs> both her and my dad, they were both having the problem, and they said, take them back. They're terrible. <laughs> but if you use tuba grip, this is a nice product. It comes in rolls, and you measure it to the right length so that it goes just below the knee, and so the toes are exposed, actually. It's fairly expensive, right? Yeah, this is 10 yards, and I don't remember what I bought. Uh, but uh, anyways, it's not real cheap, but it's not real expensive. Right. It's definitely che I think it's cheaper than buying these. And then you wash them, and you can right. have two sets so that one pair you wear and the other ones you wash. And right. Air dry them, hand wash them is a good idea. Um, but here they are, and this is also has a really problem with uh, tourniqueting. So sure. the person has to be attentive to it and you know, pull them up and keep it from tourniqueting. Sometimes they'll stay. If it's a real problem, you can get something called Coban, uh, which is a tape. I've got that on another video. But it's a simple tape that stretches, and you wrap it around. It doesn't get tight. And it holds in place. Yep, Coban. Uh, so anyways, uh, that's important. Uh, call your, you know, if you're really having problems with circulation and you're trying these things, or if you have so much... Uh, Edema? Cir edema or circulation problems where you're turning red. Things are, like my mom was starting to seep the other day. Yeah, weep. Yeah, weep, which the fluid's actually going through the skin. Right. It's a problem. you got to get after it. And yep. then I would see a doctor for sure. Yep. But uh, these things all work well, and uh, they will help. Bob, what's it? Agreed. Saying? Bob concurs. Yeah. Say no more. We have spoken. <laughs>